The video you're watching is quite an earful, isn't it? Well, it's an earful of fungus, that is. Oh, mm, my goodness. Almost gave me the creepy crawlies. Well, for an ear, nose, and throat doctor, it's just a day of work, it's huh? It's Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> it's fungus to you. It's bread yeah. to us. Yeah. And here with more in this condition is otolaryngologist Dr. Sina Jarabchi. Welcome, Doc. How are you? Thanks for having me, guys. I appreciate it. Well, that video I, is always a great one to see. I have seen these back in my day when I was doing a little mm -hmm. ear work, and the, the, that external ear canal can get a little bit funky. So tell us more about these fungus balls in our ears. Yeah, so fungus balls are basically uh, a fungus infection of the ear. And so, you know, the general population has about 10% risk of getting ear infections. One eighth of these are fungus balls or fungus infections. Really common in high humidity environments such as Pembroke Pines where I practice. Also with the age of doing a lot more Zooms and virtual meetings, we're seeing a lot more of this because people wearing the headsets in the ear and trapping the moisture in. Doc, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm a germa. Oh, <laughs> so this is creeping me out a little bit. What causes a fungus ball? So it's all about humidity. You know, fungus thrives in that dark, moist environment. Uh -huh. It's not so dissimilar to the tree log in the forest. We lift it up and all those mushrooms are kind of growing in there. So we see it a lot and definitely in swimmers. We uh -huh. see it in, in people who use cotton swabs. So the big things are using the cotton swabs, pushing that wax against the eardrum, trap some moisture in there. Uh -huh. See it in people wear a lot of earplugs. Um, also, people that, that use hair dyes or hair sprays, getting that chemical irritant in the ear mm -hmm. can be a risk factor for this condition. Okay. And, Doc, how exactly would we know? What does a fungus ball feel like if it's in our ear? So it's not really that different from earwax. The difference is, is that with the fungus ball, you get more itching. Mm -hmm. So itching is definitely more of an issue and actually looks like wet newspaper. It's kind of gnarly, as you see right there. Oh. What's your best fungus ball prevention <laughs> advice and tip? So I got three for you. Uh, the first one is keeping that ear dry. You don't wanna have humidity trapped in that ear. So not plugging the ear for a prolonged period of time. Also keeping the ear acidic. So there's an old school, very, you know, old mom's tail uh, type of treatment for the ear. You use a little bit of white vinegar, rubbing alcohol and water, equal parts. You mix it all together, put a couple drops in the ear. That's good for prevention if you get this problem or actually treating it when you do have this problem. And the third thing, Get rid of these guys. You're done with them. <laughs> so, Doc, now, don't lie to us. Doctors never lie. Mm. You never Q-tip your ear? I'm not a liar. You know, I'm a hypocrite. But here's the thing. If I Q-tip, I got all this fancy equipment in here to get that well, stuff out. Well, I mean, what do you do if your ear itches? So, you know, we have olive oil, baby oil, mineral oil, you know, it's the same thing. Like what itch gets better with a scratch? You know, if you keep scratching that mosquito bite, it's not gonna get any better. You need moisture in that ear. So you get an eyedropper bottle from the pharmacy, drop mineral oil or olive oil in the ear, and that's a great natural way of getting that ear non-itchy. Well, as Dr. Mm -hmm. Jarabashi said, that probably the single biggest event mm -hmm. in causing these external ear infections is some yeah. sort of trauma that allows the bacteria to, to get Right. into the skin so mm -hmm. don't go sticking anything in your ear full disclosure i had a q-tip in my ear last night <laughs> so this might have just cured me <laughs> i did too <laughs> and i should know better but I, we all should tread lightly yeah. listen doc thanks so much for your expertise thanks doc my pleasure thanks for having me guys all right just say no, no to fungus balls <laughs> no don't do that